So this is just a video of just showing you basically in a nutshell a little bit of the controller. So this is a touch screen. Uh, this is the WCT 600, so the W600 version. Uh, what's really good about the W600 is A, it's a touch screen. These little LED lights to show when a relay is activated. It has six relays. It can have up to five digital inputs. And it can have actually up to four sensors, depending on what type of sensors, whether they were 4 to 20 milliamp. Um, sensors or whether they were just your standard walk-in sensor. If it was a standard walk-in sensor then you could only do two um, but you, if you, um, depending on what configuration and that's the great thing, I'm just going to turn this off because um, I want to show you on the inside, that's the great thing about the controller. If I open this up you get to have a little look inside um, and we're starting off in this area here. This controller beautifully set up. Number one we've got all the 230 volts on one side and we've got all the low voltage on the other side. Fantastic. We've got one ribbon connecting from um, the power to the circuitry on this side. So that's this one ribbon. Less things to get in the way, less issues. But this in itself is just really, really nicely done. And of course they've got this piece of plastic to make sure that sticky fingers that go in don't get electric shocks should the controller still be on because you wanted to play around with um, a sensor wiring or a digital input or something like that. Um, over here, I don't know if you can see that very well, but over here we've got these different slots and this is where the W600 is really great because I can put something in here and now I can have access to um, the internet and put an ethernet card. I can have a 4 to 20 milliamp or analog output card up to 2 in here. I could have two sensor cards. I could have um, a sensor and a 4 to 20 based on or two 4 to 20 inputs again based on what we're doing. So for example if we were going to use a floor, floor, um fluorometer then we could have a, four to, um, a sensor card with a 4 to 20 milliamp input. So the maximum amount of sensors that we could ever have on this controller on the W600 is 4 um, but the maximum walk-in ones would be um, 2 but we could also have um, potentially so conductivity pH and an ORP and the conductivity could be a 4 to 20 milliamp one so then we got 3. What I'm saying is very configurable and that's what's really good is you can get used to the settings on just how this works with one, but you can have multiple controllers, uh, multiple things, inputs coming in, multiple outputs going out um, for this controller. So it's a really, really universal beast and really, really good.